Hello everyone and welcome back. Here is the first series in this vlog style video I'm kind of doing for my channel. Uh, making a queen bed out of alder and so here I'm just kind of going through my materials on what I'm going to be using for my headboard and for the rails of the queen bed. So here these will be for the rails and then these boards right here will be for the headboard. getting all my rails cut out so this board will be cut in half pretty much and will be my headboard and footboard rails and then the two other pieces will be my side rails so I'm just kind of getting everything laid out marked out and um, then we'll get to milling up this material Here I am using my crosscut sled to get everything that cut to length. So these, will, like I said, will be my two short ends, which will be the top and the bottom of the bed. And these, I'm just trimming off the ends, and these will be my side rails, which are the long ends. everything to width which was five and a quarter but we are going to change that later on which you'll see in this video the eight quarter alder for the post of the queen bed and I'm running into the little issue here where the wood is pinching behind the riven knife so I had to stop the blade throw a little shim in there to keep that wood separated and I was able to continue on with my cut as you see here and then um, just the way my shop is set up I don't have enough out feed length so I have to stop here because it hits my cabinets on the back end of my shop and uh, turn the blade off and then I'm able to remove that. So I had the same issue again here, cutting this wood, it pinches. And so now that I know that, I kind of pause here, throw that shim in there, keep that separated, and I'm able to continue on. pieces uh, had a nice twist in it or a curve or a bow in it um, after running it through the table saw and that usually happens with eight quarter material kind of releases all that tension in the grain so I'm here I'm just trying to straighten it out on the joiner I should have left a little bit more material to work with I had the material to do so but uh, hey you learn so here I'm just straighten these out and then I'm able to run them through the table saw to final dimensions um, and they are nice and straight now which is nice all right so here we are the next day after milling up all of the alder and i'm working on the layout for the bed uh, the posts are going to be 90 inches tall uh, they want the mattress at 36 inches up from the bottom so that's that mark and then the mattress is 13 inches deep so that's where the mattress is going to sit so right now i'm working on laying out where the rails are going to go um that's what that mark and that mark is off of this five and a quarter inch rail but i think proportion wise that is too skinny it's not big enough it's going to look weird to have like a little skinny rail and such a tall bed so what I think I need to do is go get some more alder and make that at least like eight inches, which would be like something like that. Because I need to figure that out so that because these legs are going to be tapered at the bottom and tapered at the top. So I kind of got to see where that rail is going to go because it's going to be pretty much kind of square 
where the rail is and then from the bottom of the rail to the bottom of the leg will be tapered and then from the top of the rail to the top of the post will be tapered so i think i need to get a little bit more material and add on to these because i think like i said too skinny it just doesn't look right all right so i have more wood now and i have glued the uh, larger rail pieces together now so these will be eight inches now instead of five and a quarter and now that I know that I can work on finishing my layout because I'm gonna have to make a jig for the tapered portions that jig will clamp this all down and I'll be able to run it through my table saw to cut those tapers Got my jig made, so just using these toggle clamps here to clamp it in place. Uh, and then it's flush here where it's supposed to stop at this blue mark. And then it slowly tapers up with the overhang to here. So this part will ride against my fence, and then this will be the saw blade, and so it will cut that off. And then down here, I have a block down here with a notch in it to lock this end in place. So we'll see how this goes. outro for this video. <laughs> I'm a little rusty trying to get back into the swing of YouTube things. So that's going to do for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and comment. Subscribe. Would greatly appreciate it as I'm trying to get my channel going again. And uh, follow me on Instagram. Link down in the description. See you on the next one.